Now at 6, the Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia. We're learning more about what a former high-ranking Rhode Island mobster is expected to say when he takes the stand against his former underworld boss. Robert Bobby DeLuca, seen here on the left, is cooperating with prosecutors in the murder case against former mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi. The same boss who elevated DeLuca to captain nearly three decades ago. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. Tim. Mobster Bobby DeLuca has been in the news for years, but now the spotlight is widening to include his brother. Court documents reveal prosecutors say Joseph DeLuca was inducted into the mob shortly after this notorious murder. Investigators say in 1993, then mob boss Cadillac Frank Salemi watched as his son, Frank Jr., who is now deceased, strangled Boston nightclub owner Stephen DeSaro because they feared he was going to cooperate with the FBI. Court documents show just before DeSaro's murder, Salemi called Rhode Island mobster Robert Bobby DeLuca and told him to be ready to receive a package. DeLuca then hatched a plan to bury DeSaro behind a mill building on Branch Avenue in Providence. The body was exhumed last year. The documents filed last week reveal Bobby DeLuca will testify that Salemi made DeLuca's brother Joseph shortly after the murder of DeSaro. To your knowledge, is this the first time the government has publicly acknowledged that Joe DeLuca was a made guy? To my knowledge, it is, but in law enforcement circles... You guys knew it. Everybody knew... Eyewitness News law enforcement analyst Stephen O'Donnell investigated organized crime for years with the Rhode Island State Police. He says the DeSaro murder likely explains why Joseph DeLuca was inducted into the mob. To shut him up, basically to be quiet. So when you get sworn in, you swear an oath of silence or murder that you never talk about it. Both Bobby and Joseph DeLuca are set to testify against Salemi, with Joseph expected to say he left Bobby behind when he went to North Providence to take DeSaro's body from Salemi. His reason? He was concerned that his brother had small children and might be caught. As Target 12 previously reported, Joseph DeLuca has been granted immunity from prosecution. I do. Bobby DeLuca has already pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about what he knew about the DeSaro murder and will be sentenced after he testifies in the Salemi trial. Is Bobby DeLuca a problematic witness, though? Without question. Bobby DeLuca, he's testified in court that he lied. He's pled that he's lied. And also, 20 years ago, he had a different version of these events. But O'Donnell says prosecutors have other witnesses lined up to back up DeLuca's story. Ultimately, a jury will decide who to believe. The trial is set to start next month. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.